Hello, welcome back. Today we are going to make freehand roses. I love to do this because you can make teeny, teeny little ones and you can make big ones. You don't need any cutters, the on, no water. The only thing you need is Crisco. So this is the way to do it. I'm using the satin ice gum paste with a little bit of the pink and I just mix it. So it's just from out of the bucket, okay? So we are going to make it soft and then we are going to take a piece and everything depends on the size of the rose you are going to do. Like for instance, this is just need a little bit and this is the miniature ones that you can do. I think I broke one of the little pearl. So I'll show you how to do it and how easy this is, all right? So really, you don't need any cutters, all right? This is the way to do it. Let me just make a medium sized one and then I'll make a miniature one so you can see it. So this is very important. I'm going to show you what you should not do first. You are going to make the ball and we are going to go like this and you should never do this because this you will understand later. No, mm -mm. don't stretch it so far. So here it is. Make a ball and put a little bit of Crisco and what we are going to do, we are going to just press this. See, but I'm not stretching all the way up. And this has to be extremely thin over here, okay? See? See how thin that is? Now, what we are going to do, we are going to just turn this over and overlap this part. All right. At this point, you are going to decide how big you want your rose. So let's see, I wanted a medium-sized rose. So I'm going to make the center of the rose, the bud over here, just like that see make this don't make this very thing that's it then you're going to take the crisco and the crisco is very important you know the shortening because this is what is going to stick the flower so we are going to just take a little piece and we are going to do very thin over here don't worry about this part just this part and we are going to bring this all the way up and we are going to just turn this around okay now we are going to just, and this is the repetition of the repetition. You're going to just pinch this and bring it all the way over here. All right. You can want it to do a little closer, a little, you know, open, but always bring it over here. See what I'm doing over here? It's like a little bird. You're going to bring the entire piece of dough all the way up. And you are going to just think about this part over here. See? So you're going to continue. It doesn't matter whether you pinch. Like every time I do it, I pedal and make it a tiny little bigger. You know, I just stretch it just a little bit more. And I go just here, see? And we are going to continue this. Say, it's the repetition of the repetition, to tell you the truth. And you're going to go like here. And so I'm doing a little bit slower just for you guys, but when you have experience, you do this really, really fast. And just go like that. See, I'm not using any water, anything. Little bit of the Crisco, and that's the only thing we need. Go all the way, and please, this part has to be extremely thin, otherwise it won't look nice, okay? All right, so at this point, you can leave it like that, or you can even turn this just a little bit if you want. It's up to you. Now we are going to make another one. So we are, see what I'm doing? I'm stretching it wider, a little bit wider. All right? Just like that. And just bring it over here. And I'm going to just go on to that. And here we are. But try, it's very important, try to don't you know don't don't push like too high because that way the flower won't go it won't have any deep in the pearls and you need that deep so here we are just like that and i'm going to just pinch this again and keep going like that see how easy that is you can make all sizes and you don't need anything besides a table with the Crisco and 
bring this all the way over here. And then you just you keep, you can put the, you know, give the movement of whatever you want. Sometimes you can even pinch it like that, whatever you want. And remember for roses, there's so many petals as you want. You know, it's like, there's not rule to say that this is the amount of petals that you have to do. No, it's whatever you want, okay? So anyway, this is the way to do it. See how easy that is? And let me see, we can do another one. This is for a small rose, but sometimes I make big ones. So I take a big, big piece of the center. And after I finish this one, I'm going to show you how to make the miniature ones because miniature ones are so beautiful, you know, for bows, to put in a doll, to go around the cake, you know, it, I use it a lot, all right? I know there's a lot of molds and everything that you can have, but I like to do this because that way I can control the size that I want. Okay, so at this point, let's finish this one. And this is very important, okay? See how thick is over here? What we are going to do, we are going to turn this down and we are going to massage that very, very nice and soft because if you smoosh that, it's going to pop the flower. So you are going to just go like here, like there, see? And you're going to take all the extras that you have and you can put a wire too if you want, okay? See over here? Now at this point is when you just start saying, well, maybe I should do this and, you know, open the petals a little bit or whatever that is. And now you have a rose. See how easy that is? So I, I usually do like, take this, this is for ice, and I just let them dry there and wait until it's dry to finish it. And to put the wire like this one, I just make a hook in a wire and wait until it's a little bit dry and then just push it, put a little bit of water and push it inside, okay? So let me show you how to make a miniature one. Miniature one doesn't mean that you have to take a tiny little bit of dough because it will be very uncomfortable to do it. So you see, I have the leftovers over here. And what I do, again, I'm going to just go, see over here, just like that very very thin remember not to stretch it too much and i am going to just overlap again here it's like folding see and over here at this point is when you decide again how big you wanted your little flower if you wanted mini 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 i mean you i have done like teeny teeny ones all right see how much amount of of dough I have over here, that's good because you will feel comfortable to use it, okay? So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to just pinch the same thing and I'm going to bring it all the way over here. All right, and then I'm going to just pinch this again. All right, and bring it all the way over here. It's very important that you don't wick this part. See, this part over here is still thick. And then you're just going to pinch again. It doesn't matter where you do it, okay? And bring it all the way up. All right, so you take the, this is a moist towel that I have, and with the moist of my fingers, I just, you know, push this a little bit. And then I'm just going to pinch this just a little bit more. And Okay, here we are. All right, so I tell everybody that I did this flower many years ago. I was in a Mexican restaurant. It was so many years ago that they didn't put chips, they put bread. And it was taken for a long time and then I decided to take a piece of the bread, the inside of the bread, put it in the water and make a dough. And I did that flower in the restaurant. I said, hmm, this can be done in sugar. So that's how I start doing it. I'm talking about history, okay? No, a long time ago. All right, here we are. And these are so beautiful just to put it over there, okay? So anyway, this is the way we do it. And here we are, we almost finished. And the flower is 
really done okay so I'm going to turn this around again and I'm going to just here we are and then we are going to just if you want it you know would you want it more open or if you want it closer you know you do it like this and again you're going to let them dry you up oh, it went all the way down but it's okay all right so this is the way to do the flowers and now we're going to show you how to make the leaves and the leaves are very very simple it's just a piece of the green okay this is just a piece of the green dough that I have and I'm going to just make a little ball and we are going to make a teardrop see just like that we are going to put it in front all right and we are going to just do it like that all right see how you see that that is very very simple at this point you can use a veiner you know or you can even use a wire just to do see you can go like with a wire but usually everybody has a veiner but you know we're just going to go here or we are going to go there and there and there and of course i always do it without with a veiner and then just here and then you just give the little movement and there you have a free hand leave so you can make big ones you can make little ones and no problem okay now if you want to do like the center of the flower all right this is the way to do it i mean there's lots of cutters all right but what happens if you don't have one in case of an emergency what can i do well, this is very simple. You want to do the calyx of the flower and you don't have a cutter. Okay, take a little piece of dough, all right? Just like that, depends on the size of the flower. And you are going to hold it like this and you're going to pinch five things. And this is the way to make a starfish too. And here, and here, and here. So you make five little pieces and then what you're going to do, you're going to stretch this See, I'm not doing any rolling pins, nothing. This is in case of an emergency that you don't have a calyx. All right, here we are. Here we are. And then you just go here. And leave this part thick. I'm going to explain you why now. All right, so everything depends on how long do you want it. So let's put it over here on the table. And we are going to go all the way up to here all the way up to here and we're going to just and remember if you're going to make a starfish this is the way to do it too all right here we are and then what we're going to do let's make this very pointed over here okay all right so we are going to turn this around and you're going to just go with your fingers like that just like that make it a little bit just like this I mean I'm talking about situation with no tools all right here we are okay and here we are and this is what I'm doing I'm just closing this a little bit see and another one okay at this point see this is a little thick over here so at this point we're going to, I have this one that is already dry and you should always let them dry okay we are going to put a little bit of water that we need the water okay over here and we are going to hold it here and we are going to let me just put some water over here too this little guy and we are going to just go here okay and bring it all the way up see oh I broke one this was was very fresh that's why it has to be dry and just go like that and here you are you have a calyx now and you can just bring it up there see how simple that is so anyway this is it you can do the flowers separately 
Oh, I forgot to tell you how to put the wire in the in the in the leaf. Do we have time, Michael, to do that? Yes. No. Maybe. Okay. So anyway, it's almost the same thing like the one that I was showing you. Take this one. You do it, but what you do is just pinch here a little bit, just like that, and take a wire. This is number twenty-eight. With a little bit of water. And then what you're going to do, you're going to put it inside that little vein that we have over there. And that's it, okay? See? And then you put the calyx. And here is your... That's it. Okay, thank you. And I hope you practice a lot. And don't forget, go step by step. And you will do this so fast. And you can do it in advance, okay? I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Love you guys. Bye. See you next time.